Hello everyone and welcome back. Just got back from the tent today and I have to turn around and leave for Louisiana. I was going to leave tomorrow morning. I'm now going to leave the following morning because a couple of things need to be done around here. A lot of things need to be done but <laughs> a couple things are critical. One of them is Melissa talks to a guy online that does bees and he's even north of us so she's been taking a lot of tips from him and when he saw I don't I must have posted the video already when I put these up and he got a hold of Melissa and said you all you want is this one just one frame when you first put the bees in there let them whatever they do make a colony in this one then add to go up so they're not spreading all over. You want them to work on one, then go to the next, then add your supers on top for the honey, I guess. So I wanted to get this taken apart. Melissa can, is definitely capable of doing this, but I told her I would get it done because she is really busy right now. Right after I got home, it was storming really hard, thunder and lightning and rain. And then it cleared up and it was sunny. And now we've got these dark clouds and I don't know if they're gonna clip here or not. So I thought I would get this done right away. Tomorrow morning, it's supposed to be fairly decent. And then rain, scattered rain, starting at about two o'clock in the afternoon. And then steady rain overnight, so. The stuff I need to get done is mainly outside, so I'm going to be doing that in the morning. But I wanted to get this done tonight. Well, those are ready. I still need to make two reducers. I should have one. Maybe it's on the other beehive. And then I have to make one more. And then if I have time, I need to get a little electric fence put around this so bears don't get into it and knock it over and eat the bees. Since I will not be here when her bees show up the Friday before uh, Memorial Weekend, because I have to go back down to Louisiana, uh, I want all of her bee stuff right here. This is everything. Oh, the little smoker thingy, she's going to need that. Because she has no idea where I put all this stuff. <laughs> this has her bee outfit, another one of these, so I think that's all she needs. This is beeswax if she wants to put more on the frames. Another thing I have to do tomorrow is, if you guys watched the last video, when I was talking about the chickens, uh, we got the three golden comets, I think they are, or anyway, we got three of one kind of chicken, three of another kind of a chicken, and the white ones that they sold us are not, this is at Tractor Supply, were not what they said they were going to be. They are broilers, and now they're getting so big that they can barely walk, and I don't want to wait an additional week to butcher them because then you're, the meat ends up getting tough and chewy. 
So I've got, I want to get those three chickens butchered tomorrow morning before the rain comes and we've got the two roosters, both beautiful birds, but the one is just mean as, he's just mean. He attacks Melissa, he's attacked me a couple of times, and I mean, and he's got big spurs, he'll just come up and start beating the crap out of your leg. So like when Melissa goes and gets eggs right now, she goes, before she would go in with a, the a net, you know, fishing net, and she just gets, she used to have it all the time with all of her chickens in Louisiana. Some of those were really mean. <laughs> I, don't, I would not, I, I just can't stand that. Uh, and otherwise she'll bring Joni, and once Joni goes in there, those chickens just get the heck out of the way. They don't want anything to do with her. But anyway, I'm going to uh, kill that chicken tomorrow. I am sick of it. The other one is friendly. You know, you got to make sure that, like, if the grandkids come over, or even if my dad comes over, in my mind I worry about that chicken. And it's like, what am I doing? Put them in the pot and be done with it. But I needed to see if I had a hatchet, and I do, and I need to get it sharpened up because they're going in the pot tomorrow, or they're going in the freezer. And that means that I'm going to have to get one of my cooker pots out, like something that I would do a turkey in or a crawfish boil, and get one of my cookers out so I can heat that water, because once you butcher them, we're going to want them scalded in the water from anywhere from like 30 seconds to 2 minutes, at right around 150 degrees, and uh, so then the feathers will come off real easy. hit the right spot and it's done. You thought you was going for a ride? Nice little rainbow there. Melissa said it was bigger a couple minutes ago. Chunky. Use this old pot to scald them in. Should work perfect. Almost ready. I had to bring this home from the tent. This is the swing that overlooks the lake and it needs some repair. This, uh, oh, you guys can just stay tuned. When I do fix it before I go up to the tent next time, I'll have it all repaired and brought back there because my dad likes to go over there and sit sometimes and Melissa likes to sit out here in the morning and drink her coffee. That was the last thing I need for butchering the chickens. I usually grab them by the 
my hands like under their legs and over their wings and then you whack their head hard on here to stun them. It kind of knocks them out, but then you got to put their head in here and pull so you can get it. And I'm not going to show any of that part. I'll show plucking it and stuff, but that part I'll leave out. We'll come back to this tomorrow morning. The worst part about me having to leave again for, I'll be gone for a full week, is that the yard needs to be mowed probably this weekend. I mean, it doesn't have to be mowed, but it's gonna be getting out of hand. Maybe Melissa will have time. I don't know, she is just so slammed busy right now. Either way, it will get done eventually. Need to get the mower put on the tractor too because those fields are going to need it as soon as they dry out. My truck needs to be washed too, but that'll have to wait. Maybe I'll be able, if I drive all the way to Sykeston, there's a car wash there, or else it can wait till I get to Louisiana and I'll go to that one. It's maybe a quarter mile away. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. Those chickens were supposed to get butchered the next day, but some things came up that were uh, pretty much an emergency. And now Melissa's son Brandon uh, is gonna live with us for a while and he's up at the house now. And the next day when I was gonna take care of the chickens, I had to get a, make sure that the bedroom was ready upstairs, one of them for him, and there was just things to do that, that I got taken care of, and then he got up there and, and moved in, so then the following morning, I mean, he got there at maybe 6 or 7 at night, and the next morning at, I don't know what time it was, 5, 18 or 15 or whatever, I left for Louisiana. In fact, the next video after this will be the long drive down, and now I've been here for uh, five days already. I had to edit the tent video, which uh, got made public last night, and i uh, been doing some stuff down here, and I think this will hopefully be the very last time I have to come down. Uh, there was multiple offers that came in on the house, and there was just a couple of things that um, were requested, and I, I'm i not gonna pay anybody to do the stuff that I do, not on this house, so here I am. I will see you guys on the next video.